I told you, you can play for Dance and Rebirth Island right now. It's completely true, but not in the way you think. Today, we're gonna be taking on the OG maps and seeing how they play in 2024. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more content coming every single day. Let's dive in. We are officially about to play a game of Verdansk. Yes, it is on mobile, but it's Verdansk nonetheless. Now, the only thing is, I've noticed that most players on this, as I've played about two to three games already, are not that great. To be fair, they are using their hands in most scenarios. I'm using a controller, which anybody on this game can do. Let me just get that out there. But it feels like there's zero skill-based matchmaking in this. I just downed the guy and killed him, and it was pretty much instant because no one really fights back. That's the one thing you're going to notice is that while doing this, no one's even trying or maybe just like having a controller is a huge advantage. But realistically, again, you can just set up your controller on your iPhone or your iPad or anything like that. It's not as seamless as playing Warzone 3, not even close. In fact, you're forced to hold to interact instead of like push to interact. But what I've found is it's not that bad once you get used to it. So right here, you can see we've got all for dance. I've tried to get it in the highest possible quality that I can, but there's not much that I can do to make it better. I think we're going to get out right here and grab this bounty. I'm not sure where it is. I think it's like on the stairs right here. Yep. Wait, where? What? Oh, he's just in the sky. Look at this dude. And there's this weird thing where if you don't turn it off in your settings, you do that over and over where you just like are floating and you pull your shoot repeatedly. They're trying to give these players that are playing the game as many advantages as they can so that they don't die because they're playing a battle royale, but it ends up being the death of you in most of the scenarios. So it's kind of doing the exact opposite of what you want it to do. Most of the vehicles on this, I will say, just move forward no matter what. And oh my God, we just got stopping power around. That's insane. They only have quads and I believe a mini Royale trios type mode or like a fast Royale trios type mode, a mobile Royale, I guess is what it's called. And then they have Rebirth Island, which we're also going to play in this video. The thing to remember is in this game, the way they announced it is that it's got 120 real players. These are not fake players. These are not bots or anything like that. These are real people that are playing this game on their iPad or on their iPhone. I think the big problem that I'm running into is that that just so many of these people have never played a mobile game in their life. And they think like Call of Duty should probably be good on mobile, but I'm telling you, it's not the greatest experience. Oh, see that on the mini map? I'm gonna look like a bot just sliding around out here. It's hard to have any sort of movement in this. It does feel quite clunky. It is not Warzone 3. It's not even close to Warzone 3. So don't think for two seconds that you're gonna get a similar experience but you can still get things like aim assist. And the gunfights are pretty good. The weapons reload, similar to how it does in Warzone 3. You can cancel reloads, but you can't slide cancel. I don't really know how that works. So I loaded in with a teammate and that teammate immediately left, probably because they died off rip. You kind of see that constantly in this, is people just join and leave. I don't think I've lost a single match yet. And in most scenarios, I'm playing solo quads. There's a guy in this building. I hear him moving around up top dead. One of my favorite things so far is that they have cross progression, but also with cross progression means you can just get your regular loadout that you would have in Warzone. So I'm using an MTZ 762 and a Corio pistol and they're just absolutely busted. I will say the way that the guns are set up and watch this, watch this. That's a cool little feature where they can't be hit by vehicles in a lot of scenarios because it just moves out of the way for them. I dropped like 46 kills on one of my first games on. And the big thing is that you kind of just hop in a vehicle and kill these guys by running them over. It's just a little bit more difficult than you'd think because of all these safety features that have been added by the game. But it's kind of funny to watch people just stop because they're completely confused as to why their character is dodging to the side. So they just stop and they just start turning around. Now, again, if you're playing on your iPad with like a controller or something like that, you're not really gonna get any crazy games because you get stuff like this happening pretty much all the time. You won't even see anybody else running in a vehicle unless they're playing on controller as well, just because people don't really know how. And then we got that guy right there. I am actually playing on Australian servers. This game is only available in a select few countries. In Australia, I think Sweden, Norway, and Chile. So you have to be in one of those countries to play. But the way that I've been able to do it is by putting on a VPN and before selecting a match, 
you actually turn off the VPN and then you're able to hop into a game. Now, obviously it's a lot more complicated than that because you have to be able to download it. And if you're on iPhone or iPad, it's a whole different thing. I went through a bunch of struggles to get here. So I'm gonna show you guys the gameplay. That way you know what Warzone Mobile looks like right now. These are players in different countries. These are real people. But look at this, look. And it's gonna sidestep for him. Oh, it's not gonna sidestep for him. That's embarrassing, buddy. I'm sorry, quit crawling. I'm already sitting on 13 kills and we're not even halfway through the game right now. That is just so sad. These poor guys. It just feels like I'm bullying them. Is this what it's like to have swags lobbies? Got a guy right here. Come here, boy. Come here. I know you want some of this. Hey, buddy. Oh, we got. Oh, my gosh. There's like so many people behind me. What is happening? If you want to see me try this again, but instead using the actual mobile controls, you'll have to let me know. I don't know how that's going to go. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh my God, assassinated. Get out of here, baby. So there's 20 people left. I have 22 eliminations. Again, I feel kind of bad playing this. It just feels like everyone's like a guppy, like a small child, but I know they're not because I, I hopped into a game. My first game on, the person that I was playing with knew who I was, which I thought was hilarious. The literal first game that I hopped into, a guy goes expel. Wait, like the real expel? And I was like, wait a minute. See, you see that little function right there? It's so funny because they don't know how to react after that. So long, farewell, I'll see your father in hell. Hey, buddy! What, how did I hit you? Beat him down, son! Get on out of here! This is my domain, baby! Look at him sliding. Dang, that's crazy. Three more guys left, one of which being me. Wait. Oh, one dude. It just feels like I'm, like, fighting toddlers. I mean, look, like, what, are they, what is he going to do? I just want to assassinate you, buddy. Can I assassinate you, please? Please just let me assassinate you, buddy. Buddy, <laughs> just let me assassinate Come here. Come here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> this is stupid. Some 12-year-old kid in Australia just having the time of their life, dude. Oh, he's trying to beat me. Wait, hello? Wait, what happened? Where'd he go? Oh my God, he died to storm. And now we're back in Rebirth Island, which is just so crazy. And I have a teammate, which is even better. I, I actually love that. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. See, this is what I was talking about, is like people just get forced to pull their shoot. Look at this guy. Hi there. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you for letting me stab you in the back. I appreciate that so much. Oh, hit your shots, Expel, you suck so bad. I wonder if people are better in this, though. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think maybe not. Probably not even. It feels so good to go all the way back to Rebirth, though. I love it. Let Daddy take care of you, son. Let Papa have some fun with you. Whack, 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 whack. And I think the render distance for people around the map has to be very, very low because I can never see anyone off in the distance. And then all of a sudden they're two feet away and it's getting crazy out there. Yeah, boy. I'm about to go X Games on small children, dude. See, look, they're just stuck in that infinite loop of pulling your parachute is the worst. Remember, if you do figure out how to download this, fix that. Like, that should be the first thing you fix, is just turn that off in your settings. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. I'll give you a little bit of this. How about you? Uh, uh. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, come on, man. That ain't right. I did all the work for that kill, and you just took it right out of my hands. You know what? That was probably your only kill, so I'm not going to argue with it. God dang it, you know? Just hold on to that, just for a second. Yep, thank you. So there's four players left. Me and my teammate and two others. What is that? Hey, buddy. What a way to win, baby. What a way to win. GG. Wait. Buddy, what's up, man? Beat his ass, bro. <laughs> If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more content coming every Sunday through Friday. And if you're looking for friends to get some wins, join the Discord. Discord.gg. Expel.